Let me start off by saying that what this country does sometimes doesn't amaze me at all. It fits with the profile of what America is. And sometimes people want to believe that that is all great, awesome, and incredible. And the real reality is that it just isn't. Make America great again, my ass. For many, when has this country ever truly been great? Now, with all of that said, I am not surprised, ultimately, that Donald Trump was chosen by the people based off of the way the Electoral College is set up, to be the 45th president of the United States. Especially when you look at the fact that he was running up against one of the worst presidential candidates and just political candidates, period, in Hillary Clinton. Somebody that can't connect with people that is inherently unlikable with 30-plus years of baggage that almost trumps all of the baggage that Donald Trump has. At least for Donald Trump's sake, all the baggage that he has, which is quite numerous, did not help happen in the political arena like it did with Hillary Clinton. So when people want to talk to you constantly about change and being tired of the establishment and tired of business as usual in Washington, maybe it shouldn't be that surprising that Donald Trump won. That's the reality. He did. And for the people that don't like it, you're going to have to accept it because it happened. Whether you want it or not, I know I most certainly did not, but it's not like... I voted for Hillary Clinton either. I voted for myself. I most certainly wasn't a fan of Hillary and don't see where, frankly, at the end of the day, an administration under her would have been all of that much different. But with that said, I was looking for something to talk about relating to professional wrestling, and it kind of just speaks to the fact that I just don't have a lot of things to talk about because not a lot of it interests me right now. But I see that over the weekend, apparently, Joey Styles said something at an Evolve event Basically, to his uh, commentary cohort, I believe it was, Joanna something, said, you know, you look really good tonight, and if our future president was here, he'd want to grab you by the... <laughs> now, of course, it's an attempt at humor. It's not a particularly good attempt at humor. You could view it as tasteless, whatever the case. And I'm sure in some ways it's Joey Styles celebrating. He's like, oh, working class white man's hero, Donald Trump. Yeah, he's going to outsource jobs and all this other. Oh, wait, I voted against my own self-interest, but let me celebrate anyways, because that's what America does, because we're stupid. So it's him trying to make light of a very relevant situation in this country. It's him making a relevant joke, honestly. Because the reality is, if Donald Trump was there, he might very well want to grab her by the pussy. So, while tasteless and probably out of line, I don't know in the grand scheme of things, especially when you talk about the history of professional wrestling, that it was all that egregious of a violation. Especially when you say <laughs> something like that, and you could make an argument in defense of Joey Styles. Some of you who I'm not particularly huge on. In defense of Joey Styles, and this is going to be a bit of a Joey Styles defense video, can you believe that? What he said was not necessarily completely factually inaccurate. So, Evolve and Gabe Sapolsky make the decision apparently that they want to fire Joey Styles just like that because of what he said and how reprehensible it was and how out of line it was and how ridiculous and tasteless. It was? Well, yeah, maybe it was all of those things. But it's fact. It really is. I mean, we're talking about a country that just elected a man who is talking about how his star power enabled him in some ways to basically sexually assault women, and they like it. And they would ask for it. What Joey Styles said was many things, but inaccurate it was not. And I can't believe I'm going to do this, but I'm going to defend Joey Styles here. We want to talk about pussies. Let's talk about the pussies like Gabe Sapolsky and Evolve. Nut up and man the fuck up. Let's be perfectly honest here. When we're talking about professional wrestling, a lot of professional wrestling fans, as I have found out, aren't exactly that opposed to Donald Trump and a Donald Trump presidency. They know what he is. They know all the baggage that he brings with him. And they don't care. So, what segment of the wrestling fan base of Evolve, which isn't a huge fan base to begin with, is really going to be 
taken all that aback by what Joey Styles, Styles said, or at least was implying, or basically saying through implying or implying through saying. Not much. Not going to be a lot of uproar. Not going to be a lot of that. And yet Evolve sits there. When you talk about the height of political correctness run amok, now, sometimes certain segments of the white population will sit there and bitch about how political correctness has run amok, and that is basically a complaint about how we can't be as prejudicial or racist as we once were. There's a difference between, you know, too much political correctness and saying, hey, we don't need any, so that way it's just an excuse for people to be racist and prejudicial to all hell. With that said, though, this is an example of political correctness run absolutely completely amok. There have been much worse things said in professional wrestling, by professional wrestlers, by promoters, by commentators, what have you. Are we getting to the point here and now where wrestling for so many years has been about getting heat and getting attention, getting interest, getting exposure, that somebody says something like this? It would have been different if he turned to Joanna and said, you know, whether you like it or not, I really want to fuck your cunt ass tonight. Now, if he would have said that, he deserves to be fucking fired. That's not political correctness run amok. That's Joey Styles as a fucking tool and deserves to be bitch slapped six ways from Sunday. But sitting there and saying something that basically the next president of the United States has said and very likely would do is not that out of line. If people are so upset about this, maybe they need to look at themselves in the mirror and ask themselves how a Donald Trump candidacy ever came to be, let alone a future Donald Trump presidency. How are you going to be mad about Donald Trump and things related to Donald Trump when people ultimately, whether they voted for Trump or they helped get Hillary Clinton nominated or voted for a third party candidate, all of them combined to allow this to fucking happen. Look, I'm no Trump fan. I think a lot of people that voted for him are going to be for a world of butthurt in the next four years. Because, again, it's an interesting study in how stupid people can be about consistently voting against their own self-interest. And when you look at the history of the type of policies that Donald Trump is going to put in place, they will lead eventually to some type of big recession like we had under George Herbert Walker Bush in the early 90s and George W. Bush towards the end of his presidency. It's going to happen. But with all that said, the people ultimately have spoken. So clearly, there is a huge segment of the population, and in this case in professional wrestling, a huge segment of the fan base population, even for Evolve, that aren't going to be that off-put by it, because frankly, why would they be? Because what Joey Styles said is kind of true. Tasteless, yes. All that funny, him, yeah, maybe, maybe not. But when did wrestling get filled with such a group of pussies? I mean, let's use the word pussy appropriately. When we talk about professional wrestling, where Kevin Nash once said, Oh, WCW, where the big boys play, huh? Well, now, with everybody in professional wrestling... Nothing but a bunch of fucking pussies. The wrestlers are pussies. Let me get into social media fights with fans because that's awesome. You fucking pusses. And the people in the business that can't have anybody tell them how much they're fucking up the business before they get mad and they try to sit there and throw all their barbs that don't really stick. They're fucking pussies too. The fans that defend this shit are fucking pussies. And doing something like this, a type of comment that 15, 20 years ago that would have been accepted in professional wrestling, it maybe would have actually gotten a heat on a guy, and he could have actually done something with it and attempted in some ways, even with the commentator, to potentially use any type of excuse you could for a money grab to make some fucking money off of the ankle, because God knows at the end of the day, professional wrestling is all about, supposed to be about anyways, making fucking money, but we forgot about that. Now it's about flips and kicks in front of decreasing audiences. Because now, the smart people about the business are outside of the business. 
And all the fucking dumbass marks are inside of the business. Look, I hate Joey Styles. And I hate quite a bit of what he represents, especially as a Donald Trump voter. And I'm sure he did it loudly and proudly. But he didn't deserve to get fired for this shit. I'm sure he probably doesn't give a fuck about it. Nor would I give a fuck about it. Because frankly, at the end of the day, and sorry Evolve fans, but who gives a fuck about Evolve? Who gives a fuck about Gabe Sapolsky? Who gives a fuck about Flow Sports? You want to talk about pussies? They're the pussies. They're the ones that Donald Trump will come up and grab from behind and be like, Hey baby, I'm a star. If you don't do it, you're fine. I mean, shit. What happened to professional wrestling? You would take things like this, relevant cultural things, and attempt to make money off of them. You know, for years the business did that with all the German and Japanese villains that you had in wrestling in the 40s and 50s and 60s as you came off of World War II. Look at the Iron Sheik and... <laughs> Nikolai Volkov and freaking um, everybody else, Koloff and so on and so forth, all these Russian characters that you had. You know, yeah, especially Nikita Koloff down in the Krak territory. I mean, that was a play on the Cold War. And now all of a sudden, we can't do anything that's culturally relevant without worrying about pissing off people. And frankly, you're not going to piss off that many people because honestly, a lot of wrestling fans are fucking Trump supporters. If anything, they're going to kind of get the rocks off to this shit and think it's funny and it's awesome. I don't see why they think so many people are going to be so upset about this or why they would care. This country ultimately elected a man that has a long-raging history of mistreating women. And they voted for him anyways. Why the fuck would they be pissed about Joey Styles saying something like this? Back in the old days of wrestling, you'd take what he said, you'd create a character around it, and you'd try to make some box office happen. Even with him being a damn commentator. Now in wrestling, we're worried about the blowback, and we're worried about this, when there have been far worse things said, done, and perpetuated in professional wrestling. So he says this, and now we gotta fire his ass. Uh, what we ought to do is fire all the pussies in professional wrestling that have taken what was once a great form of entertainment, a great entertainment genre, and fucking flushed it down the toilet like Gabe Sapolsky. You want to talk about a pussy? There's a pussy. But I don't think Donald Trump would want to grab his. Free Joey Styles should be <laughs> the hashtag that we get trending. I mean, seriously, come on, man. It'd have been different if he called her a bitch or a cunt and said he wanted to fucking have violent, non-consensual intercourse with her. If he said, you know, baby, I look at you and you need to come to one realization. Tonight's going to be just like sex with Kobe Bryant. No matter how much you fight it, oh, it's going to happen. If he said something like that, maybe I'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Now we're advocating rape. Now we get to a whole different level. What we're talking about here, though, is something that Trump actually has said, and very quite possibly has done repeatedly to many women. So it would not be out of the realm of possibilities that Donald Trump would see somebody like Joanna and want to do that to her. It's funny, too, because so often it's Republicans that live in a fantasy world where science and facts and empirical evidence don't fucking matter. And now, apparently, we got people like Gabe Sapolsky and others that they're the ones living in the fucking fantasy land. Free Joey Styles. Free Joey Styles. I mean, he could fuck right off, too. But in this particular case, he's the victim. And it's bullshit.